hello everyone in today's video we are going to solve this radical equation in two method please if you are new here kindly do subscribe my channel like and share the video so let's get started we have 2 root x plus x is equal to 3 so the first step here is to isolate the radical term therefore we have 2 square root of x is equal to 3 minus x and then Divide both sides by 2 from the equation. Divide both sides by 2. These 2 get cancelled with these 2. And we're left with square root of x is equal to 3 minus x over 2. So to get rid of this square root of x, we can multiply both sides by... To get rid of this square root of x, we can square both sides of the equation. So square the squared get cancelled with the squared root right so we left with x is equal to 3 minus x 3 minus x all over 2 squared is 4 x is equal to 3 times 3 we have 9 3 times minus x we have minus 3x minus x times 3 we have another minus 3x minus x times minus x we have positive x squared because negative times negative is positive all over 4 and then x is equal to let's simplify the top 9 minus 6x plus x squared all over 4 now from this step we can cross multiply we can cross multiply so x times 4 we have 4x is equal to 1 times 9 minus 6x plus x squared so from this step we can call it the like terms we have x squared minus 6x minus 4x plus 9 which is equal to 0 x squared minus 10x plus 9 which is equal to 0 so we form a quadratic equation here so to solve this quadratic equation we can either use the formula for solving quadratic equation or we can use factorization method that is a simpler one so let me use factorization method here so to use factorization method we are to find two numbers when we multiply it it will give us 9 and when we add those numbers, it will give us negative 10. So we have, I think we have minus 1 and minus 9. When we multiply minus 1 by minus 9, it will give us positive 9. And when we add minus 9, minus 9, it will give us negative 10. So therefore, x minus 1, open bracket, x minus 9 is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 1 equal to 0. And x minus 9 is equal to 0. x is equal to positive 1. Or x is equal to positive 9. We can plug back the value of our x here. To check whether the equation is satisfied. So let's check. x is equal. Let's pick x is equal to 1. And check. So we have 2 to the power of 2 root x plus x equal to 3. Let's plug back the value of our x. That is 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. We know that square root of 1 is 1. And 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And therefore, 3 is equal to 3. The second method. We have 2x, 2 square root of x plus x is equal to 3 so we can isolate the radical term here therefore we have 2 square root of x is equal to 3 minus x so from this step we can square both sides of the equation this squared get cancelled with this square root and also this squared affect this 2 and we left with 4 times x which is equal to 3 minus x 3 minus x we can foil the right hand side 
4 times x, we have 4x, which is equal to 3 times 3, we have 9. 3 times minus x, we have minus 3x. Minus x times 3, we have minus 3x. And minus, 3, minus x minus x, we have plus x squared. 4x is equal to 9 minus 6x plus x squared. Collect the like terms here. We have x squared minus 6x minus 4x plus 9, which is equal to 0. And x squared minus 10x plus 9 is equal to 0. So we form another quadratic equation, which is the same thing with the first method. So let me see, uh, coming in the, uh, so we form a quadratic equation. Let me know which method is simpler for you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.